Hi guys, uh, God bless you all, your loved ones and your uh, uh, family, and uh, just always believe in God to guide you for your uh, decisions in life. So our uh, topic for today, uh, I'm sorry guys, uh, I would rather uh, say it in English, probably we, I could reach uh, some other audiences out there. Uh, who is uh, who are uh, non-Filipino audiences? Okay. Uh, so uh, my topic for today is about uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez uh, versus Bitter Biev, and uh, and uh, how Canelo pulled off these uh, winning uh, streak. Okay. And. Uh, What do I think about the fight between uh, Canelo and Bitter Biev? Uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna predict who's gonna win, but I'm gonna say about my opinion uh, with regards how, how to, uh, how to win, how Bitter Biev uh, would win in this fight so uh, first and foremost uh, how did Canelo put off a uh, winning streak how was he able to to uh, to have his career uh, going up well uh, people would say that uh, what the hell what are you talking about you're uh, you're putting uh, Canelo down. Well, as as uh, as a boxing fan for for decades, uh, it's uh, it's like uh, a mystery for for me, first and foremost, why a flat-footed guy like Canelo, who is short, short and flat-footed. Uh, overcome uh, fighting taller guys I'm not saying bigger guys probably taller guys taller and faster guys uh, and that's a mystery well uh, not totally a mystery uh, Canelo is flat footed and according to to uh, my experience as a boxing fan for decades already, a flat-footed guy cannot win in a fight against a guy who has a decent footwork, and especially when he is shorter. But Canelo pulled it off. Uh, the reason behind is that his He's, he's got a fast uh, movement of his upper body. That's the first reason behind that. He's got, he's, he moves fast with his body. And the second reason behind why he is able to pull off a, a, a good offense is that he let you uh, see him as as in a distance but actually he is near what what am I trying to say it sounds so confusing right as you could notice his foot is near his opponent's foot but his body is leaned away from the opponent which means he is uh, uh, his weight his body weight is on the back foot and he's leaning away he's doing like this He's doing like this. This he fights like this uh, against the way bigger guys. And uh, once he sees an opening, he suddenly shifts his body weight forward. And you thought he's far, actually, but actually he's very near to you. He's just going to move his body forward, and then now he's in front of you. 
and because he's got that fast uh, uh, hip movement or like the upper body movement he can reach you easily and with all his experience in boxing he knows excuse me he knows these angles so that's his trick is uh tricking the other boxer think thinking like let him th him think that uh he is far but actually he is very near and uh the way to uh, pull off a win with this kind of technique he is using uh if you're like let's say uh a taller guy and uh faster on the foot is to outbox him from the outside and once he leans his his body weight on his back foot go inside don't be afraid usually these guys they're afraid of of canelo of his punching power but as, as you notice uh when he is leaning his his uh, weight on the back foot he can't knock you out he might hurt you because he's strong but he never he'll he'll, he'll never he can't really hurt you that much that you can uh, get knocked down so guys are afraid for this uh, strategy to uh, move in as, so, as soon as he leans backward you go forward as soon as he uh, uh, tries to get off that situation he will try he will try he's going to try to uh, to shift his, his his body weight equally on both on both feet so after after you see him doing that try to wrestle him or go out of the way because that is his, that is already his strong position now when it comes to uh, uh, this situation how would you know that he is already you know being in a in a, like a balanced uh, position having his both both of his uh, feet uh, planted uh, nice and tight on the on the floor on the ground well as soon as you wrestle him as soon as you feel his weight go out immediately or try to wrestle him or hug him until the referee steps in and then when the, sep the referee separates the two of you do the same thing again try to box him from the distance as soon as you see that his weight is is on his back foot try to get in again and just repeat it all over and all over again it's it's like uh, Holyfield versus Tyson Holyfield is uh, wrestling Tyson putting his weight and in, in front of Tyson but with a little twist okay not totally like that so try to do that okay if if Caleb Plant did that probably it's a sure win for him but you know they try to they try to out, out punch uh, Canelo from the distance well it's good but as you can see Canelo is so fast in his upper body movement that can uh, that compensates his uh, his poor uh, uh, footwork and uh, you thought that he's far but as he's actually near so it, it's it's like uh, it's like uh, he's trying to trick you so every boxer fell for it now if you're a smaller fighter of course it's a different you know style to beat Canelo for me uh, Cotto won that fight against Canelo uh, Mayweather did great you see Mayweather uh, did not uh, uh, did not give did not give Canelo any space uh, what Mayweather did because Mayweather can do uh, two uh, two styles at the same time like being flat-footed 
or uh, being light on his toes. So Mayweather is just trying to be one one level faster than Canelo. And that's the way you should fight Canelo. Just one level faster. Don't be too fast on him because he's going to time you. He's going to time you and he's going to just trick you for being far yet near. Uh, what you're going to do is just one one step faster than Canelo because if you're gonna be too fast you see there's two things he's gonna time you or he's gonna wear you down because you're gonna exert more effort if you're being a lot faster than than Canelo and he's gonna wear you down and he's gonna beat you uh, at, uh, at the latter rounds so Canelo and Spence has the same style they are very very flat-footed and and they think they let you think that they're far yet they're near with uh, Spence it's a different thing he is quite slower on his body movement but because he's tall uh, it doesn't matter though he doesn't need to be fast in his, his uh, body movement but the same concept the same concept making you think they're far but they're near and with these people who are flat-footed once once they get their balance uh, equally distributed on both feet they're very strong they're very strong because they're used to fighting flat-footed and they they get their power from their foot uh, their balance is their power the balance because they're flat-footed they usually get their uh, strength from the from their feet and when once the the weight is distributed equally on both feet they've got that plenty of power and especially when the weight is on their front foot that's where the time that you don't need to be in front of them you need to be on their side getting those nice angles so in, in order to beat these guys these flat-footed guys you have to be always in in, in uh, their weak angle and in your strong angle okay and you all you always have to be aware that whenever they they uh, they have uh, distributed their weight within their two uh, feet go away don't trade with them because that's their game that's your game every time their weight is on the back foot you can go in but don't stay there long maximum two seconds try to go out again or try to uh, grab them wrestle them until the referee comes in and then repeat the same thing all over again so this is the way how you beat uh, Canelo if you're way taller. And could Bitter Biev beat him doing this? I don't know yet because Bitter Biev might be bigger, but he's also flat-footed. And the same way he's got almost the same style of of uh, of uh, Canelo. So probably he is aware of, of Canelo's style because he's also flat-footed right but the thing is that people would say so uh, oh, so you're thinking that Peter BF has the advantage actually I can't say that he has the advantage even if it's bigger because uh, the bigger you are the bigger target you could become for for the style of uh, Canelo and Canelo is smaller and it's he's a hard target that's why some fighters can't pull off uh, like uh, it's it's a mystery why why he's smaller and yet you can't you know you can't beat him easily it's because the smaller fighter is always like a harder fighter to fight because you've got you've got small targets so 
the way for Peter Biev to win is use his uh, amateur skills against uh, Canelo. His amateur skills, angles and and you know uh, fast movement. Actually, Peter Biev is not even fast as an amateur, but he is way faster in his feet than uh, Canelo. So uh, I think an amateur style would beat Canelo. If Bidibiriev would pull off a win, he would use the amateur style because he's, he's way faster in his foot. But he has to be aware that when it comes to body movement, Canelo is faster. So this is it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to say who's going to win if they face off. But if Bitter Biev would pull off like a, like a, you know, a wrestle type of game, amateur mixed with wrestle type of game against uh, uh, Canelo, uh, uh, making, making him off balance most of the time, uh, not uh, letting him set his weight both on his two feet, Peter Biev will win the fight. And it will not be a hard one if he figures this out. But if he doesn't fi figure this out, uh, it's an easy win for uh, for Canelo. Both for f for a fight and both for uh, like uh, a judge's, uh, you know, you know what I mean? He's, uh, he's uh, the king. Of boxing right now so the judges would ju would really favor his uh, on the side so uh, this is it guys uh, thank you for watching take good care